Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fire Center. I hope everybody's well. I was banished back to my old space. <laughs> I tried to get my son to play um, video games, so there wasn't YouTube playing in the background because that's literally all he ever watches. We stream a lot in this house. And so I'm like, fine, I will just go back to my old space. I will clean off my table because the table was full of things that were moving around. I'll put my curtain back up very jankily. So I have to be extremely careful because there's barely anything holding this thing up right now. And um, anywho, I'm just going to shut my pie hole and pick a card here. feels good being back in my old space though. Hopefully we like the new space once it's done. Gemini. You're up. Streaming for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. For the August bonus round, if it resonates with you, cool. To your free will, do whatever you choose to do with the message given to the cards, Gemini. If you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey, not mine. I'm just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay too. You can check your Moon, Rising, your Venus sign readings if you think you might want something that might resonate a little bit better. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid and all things can, and maybe vice versa. It might even play out from the perspective of the cross watcher. And our dear friends, the cross watchers are always welcome here at the Fire Sign Tarot table. Everybody's always welcome here at my table. And I appreciate you stopping by. I really do. While you're here, if you're new, you can hit the subscribe button and notification bell. Now would be a good time to do it. If you so choose, if you like it to see, hit the like button. If you think you might have a friend or family member that could benefit from this, go ahead and share it. It's all good in the hood, man. And it all helps the channel, and it is greatly appreciated. Before I invoke the cards and throw them down for you, Gemini, there's a couple things we got to go over, and I do this every video. One, never make a life-altering decision based on a terror reading. What's a life-altering decision, you ask? If it's going to greatly impact and possibly destroy everything you've worked for, if you make the wrong choice, I would not trust a deck of cards. I'm just saying. And I read tarot. <laughs> and I don't make life-altering decisions based on tarot readings. Trust me. Okay, I have in the past. But I've learned my lesson and I've transcended and transmuted that portion of my existence. Anyway, anyway, take it from somebody who's done it. I don't recommend it. Two. It's not your reading, not your story, not your message. If it's not vibing with you in any way, shape, or form and not making sense in your life, leave the cards on the table and walk away. It wasn't your message. You can take with you what resonates. Feel free to do that. But leave the rest. Don't force things to to throw shocker will work. Don't force things to fit that don't fit. Okay? Alright. Heavenly Father, Mother with Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides and Archangels, I ask for any messages as you have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. For what's left of August. Any bonus messages that you have for them. I appreciate you coming down and hanging out with us today. I thank you for this gift that I've been given, and I ask that you give me clarity to accurately bring Gemini to their highest possible spiritual good and put them on their highest possible spiritual path. Gemini, why are you here? The star. You're healing from something. Hmm. It's the card of healing. It's the card of wish fulfillment. It's the card of things coming back into balance. It's the card of possibly improving your relationship with Source. Okay? The devil in the past? That was toxic. Huh. Okay. Mm. Three of cups in the reverse for the here and now. So, maybe you not vibing with somebody anymore. Not getting together, not hanging out. Maybe you've made the choice to just not have them in your life. By the looks of things, it might have been toxic, and you're healing from it. So, okay, that makes sense. Six of Cups reversed in the future. Ah, that's salt and the sugar. 
That's not so good feelings. Not sure how I feel about that. All right. We're using the witch's tarot to get the energy of the person you're dealing with. Oh, goodness. I didn't realize that fell. I got to hang that back up. Okay. Again. I put away the universal tarot because I had um, an incident happen with the gilded tarot deck. It got wet. I had to go to my favorite little bookstore the other day and replace it. So I figured it'd be best to put the universal deck up, possibly permanently. I'll bust it out every once in a while, but that was the first deck I ever got as a gift. And there's a story behind that deck that I'll share in another video, but I, just, I, I, I need to make sure that that particular deck is protected. So it has been put away. So we're changing things up a bit for this cycle. I actually bought a new tarot deck. I will show that to you when we bust it out. It's pretty cool. I might not use it too often after this cycle because it's got a weird vibe to it, but I love the imagery and I love the colors and I'm just in love with it. So we're using it this time around. Anyway, face shut your pie hole and throw down cards. Universe, source, spirit, and guide is going to get the energy of the person that Gemini is dealing with. Person or situation Gemini is dealing with. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Any additional messages for the rest of August? Swords. They may or may not be a little bit consumed by something. <laughs> I'm thinking, yeah. Definitely in a cage of their own thoughts. Funny thing about that cage of thoughts, you can walk out of it anytime you want to. They can leave anytime they want. They're choosing to remain in this energy. <laughs> I don't think it's your fault. It's their own personal choice. Eight of Pentacles reversed in the past. King of Cups in the present. Justice in the future. Okay. Okay. <laughs> justice are, normally comes in when there's been some kind of injustice. It's the leveling of the playing field. It's the dropping of the sword. It's the balancing of the scales. We'll get to that in a minute. Okay. I have more space here. I'll be so glad when this table is in the room at the other end of the house where I'll be setting up my stuff here within the next couple of weeks, hopefully. Madness is staying in that room right now. So <laughs> once she has moved out and gone in the next step in her path, I'll get my space. Anyway, where are we? Oh, I lose my... Sometimes I just start blah, 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 and I lose where I'm at. So... I bought a tarot deck the other day. It's the Heaven and Earth Tarot. Um, Jack Sephiroth and Jamie Elford. Oh my gosh. Props. This is just beautiful. I love it. Mm. I do. It's my new favorite deck. I, I've, I've decided. Decided. It's my new favorite deck. But it has a weird vibe. It's bringing weird energy to the readings, but it's working, so I'm going with it. All right. Can I get clarity for Gemini, please, for the rest of August? Clarity for Gemini and the person that they're dealing with, please. Universe, source, spirit, and guides. Clarity for Gemini, sun, moon, rising, Venus for the rest of August for Gemini and the person that they're dealing with. Overall, for Gemini, the star. Okay, what are you healing from? The magician.
charming trickster. Possibly. It's in the upright. Usually for me, when it's in the upright, it's not the charming trickster. And it's not the puppeteer. Something tried to manifest. Or is currently manifesting. Trying to manifest? Yeah, feel a little past energy coming off of that. You're healing from the magician. Why the hell is Black Magic Woman playing in my head right now? My father does this. My dad turns on the... He's been passed on almost five years now. He's the jukebox in my head. He starts playing music. I don't know why. It's his way. He loved music. He was a musician. He was a musician. Before he met mom. <laughs> And settled down and had a family. All right. Five of Swords reversed. Defeat. You're healing from a defeat. You may have been the one that walked off the battlefield with nothing. One of the magician plays... King of Cups. It didn't work out. I don't think you could express your emotions. They were there. But you couldn't express them. This is something that had potential. But you were left defeated. And you're still healing from it. Why the Three of Cups reversed? Three of Cups upright, Ten of Pentacles. You have decided to not connect to this or stay connected to this, remain connected to this. Three of Cups upright, Ten of Pentacles. You're, you're working on your coin. You're doing your own thing. You're, you're, pardon me, you're hanging out with friends. You're doing your own thing. One more. You're doing you. You're doing you. Hanged man, you've accepted the fate of the situation. You've seen it from all perspectives. You might st I think you're trying not to be hung up on it emotionally. Two of Wands reversed. You still haven't quite moved on from it, though. Here's the weird part. That's the weird part. <laughs> There's a part of you that doesn't want to let it go. There's a part of you that remains at a crossroads, though you are concentrating on your coin doing your thing, seeing things from all perspectives, you're not, you're, I don't think you're in contact with this person at this point. All right, why is the Eight of Swords here for the person you're dealing with, Gemini? Why the Eight of Swords? We bounce around this round, okay? Ten of Wands reverse. They are still in a cage of their thoughts about this. They have not released this. They have stuff they want to say. They have stuff they want to get off their chest. 
They still view this as a burden. Still very much in their heart and their head space. Six of Wands reversed. Defeat. Very defeated. One more. You're both defeated. Empress. They still, they still see potential for growth. How weird is that? Potential. You're, you're mirroring each other. Except, well, kind of, because they haven't healed, and you have. Or you're in the process. They still see the potential for growth. Okay. We're going to deal with that devil card in a second because this is all making sense. Why is the King of Cups here? The other person's current energy. Unexpressed emotions. Deep. Very much there, but not expressed. Ten of Swords reversed. Still hurts. Sun ain't shining. Pain's still there. Ace of Cups, but they're moving on. Possibly. One in the Ace of Cups. Seven of Wands reversed. Okay, this is super strange, but I'm going to run with it. Devil on their back. Devil on their back. Can't shake it. They can't shake you. They want to move on, but they can't shake you. Seven of Wands reversed. All right, why is this devil here? Why is the devil here for Gemini for the past? I have a feeling this became very toxic and very ob obsessive on somebody's side. I'm not sure who's, and I'm not sure why. Maybe you saw them as toxic. Maybe they saw you as toxic. Maybe the energies itself were just toxic, but... Could have been a binding soul connection came together for a purpose, but I'm feeling toxic. Or you could just be dealing with a Capricorn. I have also have Aquarius and Libra. A lot of water, a little bit of earth, a little bit of earth, two flipped out. Tower reverse, strength reversed. Trying to keep this going was draining. F for real. Trying to keep this going was extremely draining. Because it was toxic. There was a lot of heavy energy here. A lot of heavy energy here. Why the tower reversed? Ace of Wands reversed. The match wasn't striking. The match just wasn't striking. It just didn't strike. It didn't ignite. I think somebody tried to hold the tower up a little bit too long. Or tried to rebuild a tower where there wasn't supposed to be one there. I'm hearing somebody fought a tower.
could have been you, could have been them. Place yourself where you see fit. All, all thing, time and energy are fluid. Place yourself where you see fit. Why is the Eight of Pentacles reversed here? Uh, the other person didn't put energy into it. Or they feel like you didn't put energy into it again. Place yourself where you see fit. Somebody wasn't putting energy into it. Two of Swords reverse. Difficult decision. Impossible decisions. Somebody had a difficult choice to make to not put the energy into it. Ace of Pentacles reversed. Seven of Cups. Choices, options. Choices, options. The seed that wasn't going to grow. The seed that wasn't going to grow. Somebody put this in the hands of the universe. Somebody may have put this in the hands of the universe and just sat the house plan on the back porch, stopped putting energy into it, explored other options. We're going to leave it at that. Let's move to the future. There's a lot of pain here. There's a lot of pain and strife here in the present and in the past. What's coming? Why is six cups reversed here for Gemini? There's a lot of salty feelings here. I don't know if it's somebody's salty feelings toward you or your salty feelings toward them. The devil came back around. Did you see that flip out? Did you see it flip out and like do a somersault spin, land in the upright? There's, this is still toxic and there's still obsession. And there's going to be, but you're still bound. That's the weird thing. You're still bound to this person. One more. Eight of Pentacles are first. Still. You have salty feelings. You're not putting energy into it. You're not putting effort into it. But you are still bound. This is toxic as fuck. Either you're a devil on somebody's back or they're a devil on your back. This, this is toxic. Oh my god. One more. Why are you obsessed with me? That's what I'm hearing. Why are you obsessed with me? Princess of Pentacles... Weird. Somebody's coming in with an apology. Princess of Pentacles. Possibly you might want... Okay. You want to get through the salty feelings... You want to get past the negative energy? You want to get past the toxicity? Possibly apologize for not putting the effort into it? You got one coming in and you're going to extend one. Justice. Why is justice here? Tell me about justice for the other person. Tell me about justice. Hey, they're trying to remain balanced through this. Princess Cups reversed. That is a rejection. One more. Strength. Sorry. Eight of Wands reversed. Hmm. It says swiftness at the bottom in cursive. I'm slightly dyslexic. Just let it go. Communication. I think they're just trying to retain their balance. Or they don't have anything to say. If you extend an apology, you may not receive a response. throwing that out there. It 
If you're the one receiving the apology, you may not send a response. Three of Pentacles reversed, Queen of Cups reversed. Not a coming together. Emotional closing off. They're trying to re energy match. Reap what you sow. Justice, reap what you sow. Example, if you ended up ghosting them and cutting off communication, if you try to extend that apology, I don't don't plan on receiving one back. One, two threes. Two upside down threes. There may have been a third party involved some way, somehow. Third party doesn't necessarily mean somebody got cheated on. It was outside intervention, be it the universe or someone physically here in the 3D. Advice for Gemini. Hermit reversed. Judgment reversed. Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords is an honest individual. Sometimes a little bit too honest. Depends on, you know, what day you catch her on. Just saying. She has honest conversations and she uses her mighty sword to cut out of her life what needs to be cut out. So, judgment reversed. Queen of Swords, hermit reversed. If you decide to revisit this and reverse the judgment call that has been made, you need to prepare yourself for an honest conversation and don't completely introvert when you hear what you don't want to hear. But you need to go inside and decide what you truly want and what you're truly ready for. You may not be received very well, just a warning. Queen of Wands reversed. Six of Pentacles reversed. Four of Swords. Sometimes it is just best to lay things to rest and to allow yourself to heal. After a situation that is kind of stolen your thunder and where energies were not equal, it was not equal give and take. Pentacles reversed. Empress reversed. Ace of Pentacles. There is something new coming for you. That is meant to grow and that will be equal. But you have to release what was not equal and what did not grow before that can come to you. Be patient with your manifestations. Seven of Pentacles reversed. The Magician and the Lovers reversed. You need to be patient. Oh, the wheel showed up. This is not in your time. Hmm. Gemini. I, I, I actually recently dated a Gemini. I have Gemini friends. My daughter Madness is a Gemini. My adopted daughter. I know how y'all roll. Hmm. You're not always the most patient people on the planet. You're really not. You want what you want. You want it now and you don't care. You need to be patient. You are not dealing on your timeline. You have to allow the wheel to spin how it is going to spin and when. But you need to clearly decide what you want to manifest before any of that could occur. So you got to know what you want and you will receive victory. Okay. Gemini. Oh, shoot. Hold on. It's a bonus round. We're busting out the Crystal Power Tarot. Throw a little sunshine on the board, and then we're going to be done. All right, give me a couple for Gemini. Oh, well, I guess these are your messages. It threw me five, so. Ten of Pentacles, I celebrate everything I achieve. 
celebrate your achievements. Don't look back on your failures. Don't look back on what didn't manifest the way you wanted it to because you've achieved much in your life. That's what you need to focus on. The lovers, I trust my knowing and make a commitment. Trust your judgment that you will make the right decision when the time is right. Seven of Pentacles. I trust my ideas and my direction. Don't second guess yourself so much. It's that duality inside you. I swear, I love Geminis to death. You know I do, but every Gemini has a twin and they live inside their own head. Sometimes you just need to duct tape the twin's mouth. Just saying. Seven of Cups. <laughs> I trust myself to see the truth. It's about trust. You have to trust yourself. Eight of Swords. I release my self-inflicted binds. Ace of Cups. I welcome new love and trust what it brings. Okay. New, 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 new. Trust, 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 trust. In due time. Gemini, I love you. Thanks for coming down and hanging out. Be blessed. Hopefully before the 31st of August, I'll have those September readings up. I'm going to try like hell. You guys know me. You guys have been hanging out for a minute. You know, life happens to me um, quite frequently. And I can't always control what's going on around me. And I can't always control what goes on inside me. And my illness and things of that nature. So I strike when the iron's hot. And right now the iron's running hot. So I'm rolling with it. But there will always be a next time. And I will definitely catch you next time. Take care.